Oligoski and Brodeen. Now the defenseman here with Jost, Rossi, and Kaprizov up front. Sprong enters the zone for Seattle. The puck winds up in along the end boards. Into the middle, Schultz. 22 left in the power play as Wright sends it back up high for Schultz. Across Sprong and a sliding save by Fleury. Dumba around behind the net, right on it there, out to Schultz. Alexiak back to pick it up for Seattle. We're almost eight minutes into the game. Wild still looking for their first shot on goal. Wenberg fires, that one's kicked up and out of play by Fleury. Boldy with it off the wall. Defended in the corner by Larson. Done out to Burakovsky. Crowd pleading for the Wild to get the offense on track. Flurry with a blocker save that's out of play. Reaction as we flew home that night to watch the way the guys reacted to him on the airplane. And he was still grinning when he got on the plane. Alexiak in for Sprong. Hounded there by Goudreau. Daniel Sprong plays it back to Burakovsky. And his shot's off a stick and up and out of play. Spurgeon picks it off the boards. Back in behind for Shaw. He's hammered by Morgan. Everything's just been off for Minnesota here in this first period. Yeah, you, you got to think, you know, the, the while they're going with seven defensemen. Here's a chance out front. Goudreau denied by Jones. Rebound. And it was whistled wide. After tonight, the Wild are off until next Tuesday on the West Coast. A three game and four night. Boldy centers Rossi wheels fires toward the net and it deflects just wide. Nice little job here jumping into the quiet area. Matt Boldy finds him in that quiet area and Rossi's able to get that one on net. Here comes Boldy back in for Minnesota. Boldy looking. His shot hit a skate, lands on the stick of Dumbo, who fires. Jones with a save. Rebound was loose for a moment. Rossi took one whack. We give those to the fans, and they just love those things. There's not a whole lot laying around. But that's the start of a seven game homestand for Minnesota. They score. It was deflected by Geeky on the way in. And the Kraken have the game's first goal just over five minutes into the second period. Just a harmless little wrist shot by Sprong getting it to the net. I don't know if it, that, that might hit the back of Jared Spurgeon's breezers. Can't really tell quite on that replay exactly what happened there. Kaprizov spins out of the corner with it. Connects with Boldy. Addison to Boldy. Across Kaprizov and he didn't get all of it. A glove saved by Jones. He's rolling just a little bit. Kaprizov obviously didn't get all of that one and and it was still labeled but Martin Jones looked pretty calm even on that specific play there. Icing waved off as Steele beats Alexiak to the puck in the corner. Or the Kraken so efficiently out of their zone they have numbers at center four on two. Yanni Gord with it sends it back across and Alexiak scores. It's 2-0 Kraken as they cash in on a four-on-two breakaway. This season you see the Wild players, all three of them change. A couple guys should have stayed on the ice. Bad change costs the Minnesota Wild and Alexiak with a nice little redirect there. A guy not known for his great hands, but already five points in 11 games so far this year. And Steele trying to knock it by Bjorkstrand to the line, but Schultz holds. Gives to Sprong. Sprong cut off by Jost. Back to Bjorkstrand and now Sprong centers. Puck pops up in the air and they score. Fleury couldn't track it as it popped up in the air. And the Kraken have a power play goal and a 3-0 lead. Yeah, there's no question this puck went up in the air and he did try to headbutt it but missed it and hit his back on the way. determined it did not go off his head therefore we have a goal so the review turns out as we expected and the goal stands the Kraken 
With a power play tally now lead at 3-0. Interesting to see now how the Wild respond because this Kraken club has been airtight defensively tonight. Gord in, kicked off by Flurry in the rebound. Boldy got there just in time to deny Tanev. One goal on 27 shots. Erickson Eck flips it in. Jones with a save rebound. He stopped him again. Spurgeon. He scored a big goal. That they're going to need that to get back into this game. Apologize if you caught some of the language from the ice. Boldy to Erickson Eck. Boldy trying to tuck it in. Loose out front and Shaw denied by Jones. National Hockey League five on five. 80% of them are scored about 15 feet from the paint. So if you want to score, look where Mason Shaw is. Both of his goals that he has scored, very similar type goals, and he almost gets rewarded with his third goal in three games there. And, and our first indication of Dean Evison trying to ignite the offense, Matt Boldy will center Zuccarello and Kaprizov to open this third period. For Erickson Eck. And now Shaw back on it. Out to the line, Addison a shot, deflected, and that's in the netting out of play. Stick, great shot getting it through. And that's exactly what I thought I saw. I mean, he got very fortunate. That, that was just plain luck. Racken have taken the crowd here in St. Paul completely out of the game here tonight. Burakovsky. To the line, Borg and a shot, they score. It was deflected on the way in. And it's now 4-0, Kraken. Susie got, got the puck through, defensive right-handed defenseman up there at the top. Wenberg gets a piece of it with his blade and goes right up over, goes straight up over uh, Wenberg, deflection right up over the top of Marc-Andre Fleury. And, yeah, I don't think it hit Shaw's blade from that far out, but. Board, pump from behind by Merrill. Sprong splits the defense, he's in. Kick saved by Flurry. And just long reach by the Seattle defenseman. And we get a whistle with 6.04 left. I think sometimes they kind of push you really hard just to make you get back in the lineup. You want to get back in the lineup, but tough game here tonight for the Wild. Never got anything going. Martin Jones with a 22-save shutout.